Hello friends, welcome to Database Academy. So in this video, we will see how we can read CSV or text file using a simple select statement. And also we will see how we can use a data pump to create a dump file for the table data and how we can read these data dump files. So let's start before so before we read the csp or x text file we need to create a directory so directory in the sense like where exactly the files will be kept so here you can see that i have created a directory saying that external emp table i am keeping the location as in c colon temp so in the C colon temp, I have kept all my text and the CSV files. So same way you can create the directory. And you need to provide the grants, read, write and execute for that directory that you have created to the user. So you can use this select grant statement so that it will have the access also you need to provide the read on the dba directories table to hr which are is my username now after executing all these three three statement if i now execute this dba directory so i have already created this ext emp table directory you can see there and the directory path is c temp so all my files will be store under the c temp now let's see how we can read so here i have kept this emp detail text file so this is our text file where i have kept employee number name salary and this is like ids or department numbers so in between i have kept some blank rows and there are some let's see this is all our numeric values and here this is alpha numerics so in case we insert some invalid rows what will happen will it read or it will throw error we'll check that as well so first how we can write a select statement to read a text file we will check so the first thing we can write see, the first thing that we need to write a select star from this is external so we need to mention that external here so that oracle will understand this is a this will treat as an external table without creating table so we need to mention the table structure like this column so the first 1001 will hold employee number second round t is the employee name third 8000 is the salary and the fourth column is the commission okay so we the same way we need to create and mention the column name and their respective data type now as this is a oracle loader we are loading the data from the excel so that's why the type will be oracle loader and now we need to mention the default director so here the x ext temp emp table which we have already created here the same directory we need to mention here okay then we need to mention some parameters and these parameters are we can use based on our requirement so first requ first parameter is record delimited by new line so all the records are separated by new line then there is a bad file and log file so bad file it's it, it will generate a bad file in the same directory where you have kept like this one so in that you will see, you can see that in case there is any failure failure records are found or invalid records are found you can get the detail in the bad file log file is where you will get the all the information about the what what process and how many records has been proceed is there any issue has occurred during the reading the excel or 
csv file or text file these all detail you will file in the log detail okay then there will be a discard file so in case there is any discard record found the which is not uh, which is not valid or it cannot read then it you will get the data in the discard file then there is a option like skip so in case if i want to skip first two row we can mention that as well but these all are optional field terminated by comma so all the fields you will say that comma separated are the use so that it will know that okay this after this comma there is new column start so reject row with all null values so what it will do in case there is all values are null then it will simply reject those record missing field values are null so in case there is values are not mentioned so it will treat as a null so these are the parameters but these are optional based on our requirement we can set then last you ne we need to mention the exactly which file we need to read so here let's uh, try to read the employee detail.txt file first and we'll see how we can read csp later so you can see here in the emp detail text file i have already shown some records let's insert some some more records also so 8001 is the employee number and let's say john is the employee name and the salary will be 20000 and the commission is zero now save the file now we don't need to create any table we just use simple select statement this is our complete select state statement now if i execute this you will see the result here so on the result ram prakash pankaj swan and john that just we have created that also it is displaying but these two are not displaying why we will check in the bad file maybe it will be there yeah it's updated so you will see these two are rejected that means these are the these detail you will get in the bad files so these records are not read by the select statement because in the configuration in the parameter we have mentioned reject rows with all null fields so the first case all values have null so it rejected second was second record you can see that there is a character inside this employee number and here we are using number so it will not accept and it will reject the data is reject the row so because of that these two records are in the bad files now if we check in the log file you will get the detail when the log file was generated what was the detail and all other information terminated by your comma separated and these they all have mentioned the these there are two invalid numbers invalid records they found so all details you will find in the log files so that is how you, we can read the text file now let's see how we can read the csv file so you should have the csv file in your in your your you should have the txt file in your same location so here i have already inserted some dummy values you can see now let's we are changing the employee detail all dot csv file so actually we are reading this excel file so let's add some some more data okay here also we'll use smith uh, salary will be 50000 and the commission will be 2% and let's save the file now we need to just execute the file execute the select statement and you got your data okay so it is this is very simple we can read the csv file we can read the text file without creating tables 
or control files anything we don't need to do all those things we can simply sim we can simply fetch the all details using the select statement now let's see how we can fetch the data from two different csp and using a sim single select statement the structure will be same like we have created earlier so select a statement on the parameters so here you, you can see i have used only two parameters now here in the location inst earlier we just mentioned the one csp file now we need to mention the on the csp file which we want to read here so here i you can see that i am i have this one first one and this is this is the second one so i have two excel files okay so here is smith and next one is smith to john to mary four and one now there is other data I have checked. now only we need to think is we need to add here csp both the csp file name and just need to execute the select statement after executing you can see we we got the all the data from the both the table both the csv file sorry this, is, this was this much of a data it fetched from the first csv file and this is from the second csv file so this way we can read multiple files also this can be a uh, this can you will find the scenario when you have a employee de detail department wise in two separate excel file csv file how we can read them so this is how you can read multiple csv file using a select statement now let's see how we can use a how we can create a dump file and how we can read that dump file so this scenario when the scenario will come when we want to generate this dump file let's say we have two different application and from one application we need to get the employee data and another application is just we need to fetch the all the data which is there in the application one so in that scenario we the applic application one will generate the employee dump file and the application two will just read the dump file and it will display in the application so here we need to create a dump file so for that this is the syntax create table emp dump and organization external so that it will treat it as an external table then we need to mention here type oracle data pump okay so this is very important if we don't mention the, then you will get error and oracle will not understand this is a or data pump okay now default directory again the directory which we have already created and the location and the file name so this this is the file name and the dot extension is the dmp file so it will create a emp detail all dot dump file so this is for this select statement from the employee table so this much of data we have if we go to the temp file we'll just check out is there any dump file no there is no dump file okay so based on this select statement output it will create a dump file for this name okay okay now let's create the table so emp dump is created and if we go here you can see that dump file is generated so if we try to open this dump file it will not open we cannot read this because these are in stored in binary format okay so it is not possible to read this to read this dump file again we need to write the select statement which will now it will read the dump file so now if we use the select star from this table name we will be able to fetch the record we can see what is the data that it is having now let's see if we want to perform any dml operation on this table we cannot do so dml operation we cannot perform on that okay 
only select operation we can perform. So these tasks will be done from the first application. Now app dump file is generated. Now second application need to read the dump file. So here we need to just mention select a star from external and here we need to provide the table structure. So the same way where it was created in the employee table. Okay, so employee number, employee name, job, manager ID, hiring date, salary, commission and department the same way. Okay, here the again type Oracle data form, default directory, the directory name and the location where dump file is there. Okay, now we need to just mention the all the parameters and just use the select statement. So now it is reading this dump file using the select statement. So the select statement you can see here there is two text is created. So it just mentioning the log file details will be there and here also. So this how we can create the dump file and we can read the dump file. So the benefit is like without creating generating a database link also we can read and write that file. We will so this was the end of this session. Thank you for watching my videos and thank you once again. And if you are new into my channel please subscribe my channel. And thank you all who have subscribed my channel. I have crossed the 500 plus subscriber. So thank you all for those who have subscribed my channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe and like this video and provide your comments. Thank you very much.